Hello YouTube and welcome to a different kind of tutorial today. Today I'm going to show you how to make gaming thumbnails for your YouTube channel. So uh, let's get right into it. So go on to Google and if you guys haven't already follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I always post when I upload a video. But really what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to www.gimp.org and you're going to want to click this download button. I already have it downloaded so I'm not going to do that but I trust that you can install a program. It's not like rocket science or anything. So after that, it depends on what game you're doing, but let's say you're going to make a video about Call of Duty. So I looked up Call of Duty World War II and I just found a picture that is 1920 by 1080 as you can see right here. And then I found the logo. So I just looked up Call of World War II transparent logo and this was the first one that came up. So now after you have GIMP downloaded and you have all of those pictures, you're going to want to go and open GIMP. And it won't take that long to open. So file, and then you're going to want to go new, and then 1920 by 1080, and click OK. So the first thing you're want to, going to want to do is go back into Chrome or wherever you downloaded that, and then just click and drag the video or the picture that you have and that you want to use as the background. So the first thing you want to do is, as you guys can notice, this picture looks kind of boring. There's not much to it. So what you can do is come over here to the gradient tool, change the mode to overlay, and then pick some colors that you want. I'm going to make mine blue and then a slightly darker blue. So after that, just click and drag, and it will change colors. It will just have an overlay of the color that you picked. So that looks pretty nice. Now we need to add our text. And I'm just going to make the thumbnail for this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag after I click the text tool right here and I'm going to click or I'm going to type how to and as you guys can see the font doesn't look too good I don't sans doesn't look the greatest so there are some fonts that I personally like and one of them is out of the Apache so go ahead go to defont.com and download out of the Apache so let's just increase this and then if you highlight this, click over here and center it, come down a few, and then increase the font some more. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's just make it a 200 just to be even. Alright, uh, but as you guys can see, if we just click on the background layer over here, you can't really see the text. This is, it doesn't look too good. So if we come over here, right click, alpha to selection, we're going to want to go back to the gradient tool, change the mode back to normal. And I'm going to pick uh, white instead of the darker blue, and I'm going to switch these. So after you switched uh, the mode, you're going to want to come over here and click and drag until you like it. I like it right there, so we're going to go to select, select, and grow. And I'm going to grow this by 7. Now what we can do is we can click on the bucket or the fill tool, click a black color, switch it so it's the primary color, and we can zoom in a little bit and give the outline of black. So then we go to select and none and we have our first text but as you can see if we just go to the background it still kind of looks boring so what I like to do is I like to move it and then rotate it increase it a little bit and then rotate it so I'll rotate it to right there so now it looks like it has a little bit more to it. It's on an angle. So we're going to do this with all of the text pieces that we have. So we're going to come over here, make another one. And then I'm going to have create fantastic. And then we're going to highlight it, increase it. And something that a lot of people don't do is they don't switch up their fonts on their thumbnails. So another font I like is American Captain. Again, it's just on defont.com. I will link defont.com in the description below, so make sure you go download some nice fonts. Then we're going to do the same thing again, alpha to selection, and then the gradient tool has a nice little piece to it. If you click here and then scroll the whole way down, it has a yellow-orange preset already made for you. So just click and drag that, select grow, and we will go 8 this time, bucket tool, and then fill in all of the holes in your text select none 
And then we're going to scale this up a little bit so it's small. Scale. And then we're going to rotate it. As you can see, it's off the screen. Doesn't matter, just pick the move tool. All right, how to is an, a little small, as I'm noticing. Cancel, go back to the how to, and just click scale. All right, so now what we're going to want to do is add another text. So come down here, click there, and create fantastic thumbnails. I don't know what I typed. Thumbnails. All right. Go ahead, increase the font again. Then uh, you don't even need to highlight it. Alpha to selection. Then I'm gonna do the orange again. So just do it wherever you want. Select grow. I'm gonna grow this one by eight again. Bucket tool. Zoom in and see what you're getting. So select none and that looks really small so I'm gonna move it over here and I will increase and then rotate it. Last text and we're gonna come over here and put for gaming videos. And highlight that, increase it, change the font back to Aldo the Apache, increase it a little bit more. Alright, so we have four gaming videos. I'm going to want to go to Alpha to selection one last time. Select. Uh, we don't want to select grow yet, we need to give it a color. And I'm going to go back to my white and blue. Let's switch these just because I prefer it. And that's a good thing I made that mistake, because some of you probably will. You need to make sure that you scroll back up here and go to FG to BG RGB, and then it should work. So select. Now we go to select grow. Now I'll do this one by seven, and then grab the bucket tool, change the primary color to black, and then zoom in, fill in everything. I think I got everything. All right, so now we can go to select none. We're going to want to come back to the move tool. Move this over here. We're going to move this up a little bit. We're going to want to rotate this one a little bit this way. Okay, so now we need the Call of Duty thumbnail. or Yeah, the thumbnail. The uh, transparent piece. So we can bring that in, move that. I just leave it in the corner. And you could leave the thumbnail here, however, I prefer to do one more step to some of the pieces. So for create fantastic, I'm going to add a drop shadow. So if you go over to this eye looking icon and lock all of them except for create fantastic or whatever text you want, uh, I will come over here to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. I'm just going to do zero, zero, 100. Opacity is 100. Uncheck allow resizing. That's very important. That could screw up everything. Although if you do do that, just click Control Z and that should fix it. And then click OK. And then I just repeat it a few times until it looks good. And then one nice thing you can do is right click on the layer and then merge visible layers. And then that's good. So you can do that to a few pieces. I can do it to... I'm going to do it for how to. And then we can go filters, repeat drop shadow. And it's really easy once you do it to one because you don't even need to go into the settings or anything. So if you want to do it for all of them, you can. I think I'll just do it for all of them just to demonstrate it a few more times. Filters, repeat. Alright, then you're going to want to go to merge. And then I should have one more text, yes. Alright, so filters, repeat drop shadow, then merge visible layers, merge. Alright, now to see the final product. There it is. So if you guys are a gaming YouTube channel, hopefully this tutorial is useful for you. 
Uh, as I said before, go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will keep you updated on what videos I am posting, like my new Java programming tutorial. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. I will link that in the description as well as defont.com. Go follow my Instagram. I always post uh, little programming uh, pictures on here, whether it be motivational or just about my YouTube channel or about my PC. So uh, go subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.